Okay, so we're going to find another one here with this given information. Eccentricity is given, one of the vertices is given, and also your center is going to be given here as well. Now, uh, these two pieces of information, you want to first I'll start by plotting those. So I have 0, 0, and I have negative 5, 0. So those are the two pieces of information that's provided. That tells me that the ellipse is going to be opening up sideways and I already know my center, which means that I can, I can write the basic equation. Basic equation now is going to be this one. I want an ellipse that's centered at 0, 0, which it tells me it is. And I know it's opening sideways, which means that the a is a larger number that has to go underneath uh, the x squared. Now, uh, I already know the a value, actually, because the a is always the distance from the center to one of the vertices. So I know automatically I know a. Now I also know that I also get the same result because my eccentricity is 3 over 5. So that formula is c over a. So I could have gotten a from this also. But this tells me also that my a is 5, but it tells me also that my c is equal to uh, three, so I have these two pieces of information that I could have gotten directly from the eccentricity formula. I still want to find the b squared because I have to fill that in uh, for this particular uh, formula. So my c is square root of a squared minus b squared. I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the previous example. Put in the pieces of information. c is three, a is five. I want to solve for b squared. Square both sides, I get 9 equals 25 minus b squared. I'm going to subtract the 25 uh, from both sides there. And when we do, uh, we get 16. Uh, negative 16 actually is equal to negative b squared. And then we get 16 is uh, b squared. So now we get, uh, we get that. I don't need to actually solve it all the way down and get b is equal to 4 because I'm just going to come back and fill in the piece of information. I solve for b squared, b squared is 16, so I'm going to take out the b squared and put in 16 for that one. My a is 5, a squared is going to be 25. So now this right here would be the equation for the ellipse, and again it has all these, it has these characteristics here that was provided.